Good morning. Welcome to Horn Street, Tambovi Tambo to West Rickery Infrastructure Improvement Project. My name is Subi Varkis. The agenda of this project is introductions, project overview, project area, frequently asked questions, and timeline. Your construction project team includes project manager, that's me. My name is Subi Varghese. My contact number is 817-392-7803. My email address is subi.varghese at fortworthtexas.goe. Inspector is Cody Horton. His contact number is 817-475-6900. His email address is cody.horton at fortworthtexas.gov. Engineering Design Consultant, Shield Engineering. Consultant Project Manager, Craig Barnes. Contractor is Circle C Construction. Construction Manager, Keegan John Gears. Project overview. Existing sanitary sewer mains and water mains will be replaced in an area that includes homes, apartments, churches, and businesses, as well as the Como Community Center and the Leadership Academy at Como Elementary. The area is bound by Campbell Boulevard to the north Orange Street to the east, West Wickery Boulevard to the south, and Helloran Street to the west. The Fort Worth Water Department's Capital Improvement Project is in City Council District 3. Construction will impact the Como Neighborhood Association area. Project area. Horn Street from Cambovi Boulevard to West Wickery Boulevard. Water line and sewer line will be replaced. Alley between Donnelly Avenue and Gutters Avenue from Horn Street to Halloran Street, sewer line will be replaced. DS Avenue from Horn Street to Borain Street, water line and sewer line will be replaced. Alley between Humbert Avenue and Farnsworth Avenue from Horn Street to Farron Street, sewer line will be replaced. Alley between Carver Drive and Helmick Avenue from Farron Street to 280 feet west, sewer line will be replaced. Farron Street from 150 feet south of the Farron Street and Helmick Avenue intersection to 330 feet south, sewer line will be replaced. Carver Drive from Horn Street to Farron Street, sewer line will be replaced. Alley between Carver Drive and Fernando Drive from Horn Street to Farron Street, sewer line will be replaced. Manhattan Drive from Horn Street to Wilmington Drive, water line will be replaced. Why are we doing this project? Fort Worth prioritizes water and sewer line replacements based on available data, which includes the water main break history, leak history, CCTV inspection, age of the line, line material, and whether there are lead service or cast iron water lines. This project is being done because the existing water and sewer lines are in poor condition. And also to facilitate 
the Transportation and Public Works Department pro proposed streetscape improvements. Do you replace the water service line up to my house? We replaced the city-owned service line to the property line. We also replaced the water meter and meter box and will repair impacted areas on your property. We do not replace the water line from the water meter to your home or business. The service line from the water meter to your home or business is considered private plumbing and in the event of leak, repairs need to be done by a licensed plumber at the homeowner's expense. Will you need access to your property? This project is in the public right of way. If Fort Worth Water needs access to your property, we will contact you. Will sewer service be disrupted? Sanitary sewer service will not be interrupted. New sewer cleanouts will be installed at the property line. The sewer cleanout provides crews easy access if a backup or blockage occurs. The sewer line from the cleanout to the house and the private plumbing are the homeowner's responsibility to maintain. Will our water be turned off? Water will be turned off for 15 to 30 minutes when service is transferred from the existing line to a temporary water line, and when the service is transferred from the temporary to a new line. These switchovers are done during the day. The contractor will knock on the door and let customers know when the water will be turned off. The transfer typically takes 30 minutes per house or businesses. How does the temporary line impact my home and water bill? The temporary water line ensures that you are not without water during construction. In the summer months, the continuous flow keeps the water from becoming stagnant in the above ground line. During the winter months, water must be continually flowing through temporary line to keep the line from freezing. Customers should also keep their faucets dripping. The bill for your water usage while you are on the temporary line is based on an average of the previous month's usage. If you see water running down the street, don't turn it off. Before we can connect your service to the new water line, we have to flush the line. The water flow will be continuous until the inspector gets, gets the samples for that day. You will be connected to the new water main after two consecutive samples pass the bacteriological test. When it is time to sample the water flowing through the, through the new water main, the contractor will place traffic cones around the valve to prevent anyone from parking over the valve. Don't move the cones, don't park over the cones, and don't turn off the water valve. What happens if my property is damaged? The contractor will take pictures and videos of the property before breaking ground. We also encourage property owners to take pictures 
and video of their property before construction commences. Damage resulting from the contractor's activities during construction is the responsibility of the contractor. Will the water and sewer construction affect my irrigation? The contractor has to cap irrigation lines before construction starts. The contractor will ask property owners to turn on the irrigation system so the sprinkler heads can be located and flagged. The contractor will replace capped or damaged irrigation systems. Are there restrictions on when we can water our lawns? Yes, requirements include no watering by irrigation systems or sprinkler between 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Watering by hand hose, handheld hose, drip irrigation or soccer hose is allowed at any time. Twice a week irrigation system or sprinkler schedule with assigned days for all water customers. Mondays, no watering allowed. Tuesday and Friday, non-residential sites such as apartments, businesses, parks, common areas. Wednesday and Saturday, residential addresses in even numbers ending in 0, 2, 4, 6, and 8. Thursday and Sunday, residential addresses with odd numbers. Will there be lane closures during construction? There will be one lane closure when the contractor is installing the water and sewer line. Signs will be posted to alert motorists. The hours of construction are 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. Monday through Friday and if requested by the contractor, 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. or 5 p.m. on Saturdays. Will the city's trash, trash truck be able to pick up my trash and recycling during construction? If your side of the street is closed on your scheduled trash collection day, the contractor will take your trash and recycling carts to the opposite side of the street to the trash collection vehicle can pick it up. Timeline. May 2022 is the projected start date for construction. The sewer on Carbon Drive on Farron Street will be replaced first. Then the contractor will replace the sewer in the four alleys. Alley between Carver Drive and Helmut Avenue, Alley between Carver Drive and Fernando Drive, Alley between Donnelly Avenue and Bridges Avenue, Alley between Humbert Avenue and Farnsworth Avenue. The contractor will work around the schedule for the Leadership Academy at Como Elementary and the Como Montessori. The projected end date is late fall of 2023. How will we know construction is starting? Keep an eye on your front door for a door hanger from the city of Fort Worth. You will receive two door hangers. The first one says construction starts in seven days. The second door hanger says Construction starts tomorrow. The inspector will include his business card and contact information on the door hanger. Where can I get more information? Progress will be updated on the City of Fort Worth website. You can also go to www.fortworthtexas.gov and enter 103123 in the search bar on the home page. The link to this meeting video 
the project map and the project summary, frequently asked questions will be linked to this project page. Contact information. You can contact me at 817-392-7803. My email address is subi.vargis at fortworthtexas.gov. Or you can contact to Inspector Cody Horton at 817-475-69003. His email address is cody.horton at fortworthtexas.gov. How do I report an emergency or non-emergency? For emergencies like water main breaks, fever backup, you can call at 817-392-4477 and select option one. For non-emergency, 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Monday through Friday, call at 817-392-4477. You can download the My Fort Worth app from the App Store or Google Play. You can report sewer overflows, leaks, water main breaks, missing or broken leaks, water theft, water violations, no water service, water pressure issues, and other sewer concerns. Are there other projects that impact us? Yes, transportation and public works has two projects in the Como area. The first one is the Como area resurfacing project includes five lane miles of pavement on five street segments. Carver Drive from Hervey Street to Horn Street, Chariot Drive from West Wickery Boulevard to Horn Street, Little Page Street from Camberley Boulevard to Kilpatrick Avenue, Little Page Street from Libby Avenue to Humbert Avenue, River Street from Lake Como Drive to West Wickery Boulevard. The two city departments are working together to minimize the impact on customers. Resurfacing on Carver Drive will not start until Fort Worth Fort Worth Water has completed installing sewer from Horn Street to Farron Street. Construction on the remainder of, of the resurfacing started mid-March 2022. For more about information about Como Area Resurfacing Project, contact Islam Tariqui at 817-392-2486. His email address is tarikil.islam at fortworthtexas.gov. The other project is the Horn Street Streetscape Project. is on Horn Street from West Wickery Boulevard to Camberley Boulevard. This TPW project includes changing the roadway from two lanes to three lanes in certain areas, traffic signal improvements, installing sidewalks and ADA ramps, adding beautification elements, trees, pest parts, and trash receptacles, and on street parking along Horn Street from Camberley to West Wickery Boulevard. TPW plans to schedule a community meeting for the Horn Street Streetscape project in late April or May 2022. For more information about Horn Street Streetscape project, contact TPW project manager Shada Rao at 817-392-8022. Her email address is shweda.rao at Fort Worth. Texas.gov or contact Santa Caba at 817-682-3181.
Her email address is santa.kaba at fortworthtexas.gov. Thank you all.